Whoa, 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 would you look at that? A whole year has passed since my last iCloud Keychain versus 1Password review, and it looks like Keychain is still, oh, prone to exploits. Well, maybe we should give iCloud Keychain another look, so we could at least better compare it to a best password manager like <laughs> 1Password. So, is 1Keychain safe, or should Mac users choose some 1Password else? Okay, security should be a primary concern for this password manager comparison. I mean, there's no point in storing your passwords insecurely, right? Well, 1Password and the iCloud Password Manager both use AES 256-bit encryption. And, well, if you don't know what that means, it's just basically an encryption algorithm that most of the other top password managers also use. These providers also have zero-knowledge architecture, which means only you can see the actual content of your passwords. The password manager can confirm that it's your password without actually seeing what the password is comprised of. And surprisingly, both Apple Password Manager and 1Password offer a bug bounty program, where basically any user can report a problem and get a nice little reward. And in my opinion, this is still one of the best ways to bug-proof your software. You know, just getting everyday users involved. So for the most part, these two managers are similar. However, 1Password has never been breached or exploited, which, yeah, is kind of a big deal when you're talking about tools created specifically to protect your data. And I'm not even talking about that old iCloud keychain exploit. Uh-uh, nope, just this year, threat actors were promoting a tool that could steal iOS information, including keychain passwords. So it's not looking that good, honestly. But hold up, because for this iCloud keychain versus 1Password comparison, there's a little bit more. 1Password has been audited lots of times, and audits, well, they're just third-party tests that are done to see how various providers' claims hold up. 1Password has a whole web page dedicated to audits. Impressive. Now, iCloud keychain audits? Well, there's a... Uh, oh, none. <laughs> okay, well, 1Password is a premium tool, and the security from keychain? <laughs> they are differing like night and day. And hey, to make the 1Password pricing even more affordable, well, we've left some best discounts that we've managed to find. Your security doesn't need to cost an arm and a leg, just a couple of bucks. All right, let's move on to 1Password versus iCloud Keychain features and functionality. Both are actually great at the basic functions that any best password manager contender should have. Even autofilling passwords on the browser seems to work just fine. And the same can be said about generating strong passwords. Both managers have decent customization options for that. I can also share certificates, secure notes, and other relevant information. But sharing is actually a little bit smoother with 1Password. Forms and other basic functions seem to be okay here as well. Now, this is where the differences start to show up. First, a really useful feature, especially if you have many different accounts, is password audits, or in 1Password's case, Watchtower. While both password managers give you info on old or reused passwords, just look at how simple it is to check with 1Password's Watchtower, and then witness how much more pointlessly complex it is with the keychain approach iCloud Keychain sort of has this very basic info on why your password is bad, but Watchtower gives you much more info on the problem and its severity. And well, don't we all love more info? All right, once you start working with it, vaults are a big part of 1Password's appeal. These allow you to quickly organize different passwords or sensitive data into specific vaults. And this tool is not only great for visual clarity, it also allows you to create special vaults for sharing, like streaming server passwords, work-related content, or any banking info that you might need to share with your partner, significant other, whatever you got these days. With the iCloud keychain, I can airdrop individual passwords with other Apple users, but sharing multiple credentials becomes a bit of a pain. So yeah, I prefer 1Password's vault system. And that's not even the end of it. 1Password has a very unique feature, definitely one that I have not seen in any other password manager, and it's called Travel Mode. It is a lifesaver if you travel out of your country every now and then. It allows you to set up certain vaults that are locked and unusable when you cross borders, and sensitive data is then only accessible at home. Now, of course, it might not be all that useful for you regular non-travel users, but it is a worthy investment for business travelers for sure. And there's this little dark web monitoring thing. It's a little feature that I think all premium tools should have by now. 
Now you've probably heard about various companies' databases being sold on the dark web, or when a website's user's login credentials end up getting leaked. Yep, these types of cyber attacks are becoming more and more common, and it's even hard for me to keep up these days. So it's really convenient when 1Password does all the work for you and immediately lets you know if your data is found in any dark web leaks. And I started using this feature, I don't know, about a year ago when some of my info got leaked. Now, one thing you can't deny in this iCloud keychain versus 1Password comparison is that the way keychain syncs through all your devices is super convenient, especially for you more hardcore Apple users. But premium password managers also work on Apple and everything else. So while I agree that Apple has a lot of great tech, I don't want to be forced into one provider's ecosystem in total, especially considering that 1Password works great with Apple products. Yep, even my Apple Watch. Okay, one of the most notable differences when pitting 1Password versus Apple Password Manager is definitely the ease of use. While both password managers are relatively easy to set up, the UI is a very different story. I mean, even for Apple, this looks very simple and not really appealing at all. Now, looking at both UIs, you can almost immediately understand and see what's where and why with 1Password. Meanwhile, Keychain reads like an Excel document, and yeah, don't we all just love Excel documents? All right, look, I know it feels like I'm being a little bit too harsh on the iCloud keychain. It does work fine, and I do like that the list was alphabetical on my iPhone. And in general, the app looks much better on mobile. But still, there's no organization or vaults for social media accounts or banking. You just end up spending more time just navigating the manager itself. But hey, I guess if I've never tried a password manager with a well-designed user interface, I guess this would look okay. But after using 1Password, it's kind of hard to settle for a more flawed version. And now's the part of this iCloud keychain versus 1Password review where most of you are gonna be split into two camps. The good enough for free camp, since keychain is free with all Apple products, or the my security is worth a few bucks camp, which you end up getting with 1Password premium plans. But look, if you truly don't have the budget to spare, well then the keychain iCloud approach is gonna do just fine. Just try to learn a bit about what and how it does certain things. But if you can spare a few dollars, and I do mean just a few, since the individual plan currently costs about $3 a month, I highly recommend upgrading to 1Password. With all the improvements and features, it's definitely worth it for anyone who takes their privacy seriously, and you'll be grabbing one of the best password manager softwares out there. You don't even need to commit immediately. See, 1Password comes with a 14-day free trial that you can test out. And hey, guess what else you can get for those few bucks? actual support that you can message in case you run into trouble. I love good customer support. All right, I can see the finish line up ahead for this iCloud versus 1Password video. So before we get there, why don't you help us out by clicking the like button and subscribing to the Cyber News channel. You'll be glad you did and we appreciate the support. Look, the iCloud keychain isn't a terrible solution to storing passwords. It works for basic usage, but it's also definitely not the best password manager very lackluster, especially compared to dedicated managers like 1Password. Yep, it's a premium tool, but in my opinion, the features all make it well worth your money. So, question for all of you. Do you still use the Apple iCloud keychain for your password protection? Or maybe you have another suggestion for my next password manager comparison. You can find 1Password discount deals down in the description. And for everyone else, I'm gonna go ahead and see you in the next one.